Science Central is your one-stop shop for education and fun. Joining me today for an experiment is Executive Director Martin Fisher back again. Today we're doing something with some very basic physics yeah, components yeah. that will actually turn out pretty cool. So Martin, take it away. My pleasure. All right, so we're going to talk about a gyroscope. Fancy word for a top. I mean, every kid has played, an adult, we've all played with tops. It involves something called angular momentum. So when I take this and I spin it in a circle, because it's circular, that's angular, angular momentum relating to motion. If I place this top spinning wheel on the ground, it spins, stays up, just like a top. But eventually, resistance with the air will make it go slower, the force of gravity will pull it down, and sooner or later, it'll wobble and fall over. But here's the cool thing about a gyroscope, which is why it's used in so many tools and machines. You know, a lot of the things that are even used with the study of meteorology. If I were to take this wheel, spin it fast. Now, I know you guys won't be able to see it at home. You may be able to kind of see my muscles twitch as I'm moving it in my hands. There's this jerkiness as I move it from side to side. It's resisting that motion. If I were to take it and stand on this moving platform, I can take that motion from one direction and watch this. Change it to a different direction. So even though the wheel may be moving up and down, the platform below me is now moving left and right. I'm still over here. <laughs> so it's an easy experiment to learn about angular momentum. Kind of fun. You know, we do so many of these things at Science Central. We are open today. So you were saying it's hot, it's humid, it's miserable outside. We have air conditioning. <laughs> So a question, if someone yeah. at home, maybe they may have a, a wheel like this, maybe mm -hmm. the old bike or something. Yeah. Um, what can they use in place of maybe your more fancy sort of yeah, thing? We ended, will, will it work if you sit in maybe a rotating chair? Exactly. But if you're going to do that in a rotating chair, first make sure that it's a chair that doesn't have arms that will get in the way. Ideally like a stool that spins. And the second thing, make sure that the ball bearings or whatever mechanism it has nice and smooth. You want it to be as smooth as possible because if it's kind of jerky on that platform chair, it's not going to move very well. But you'll still feel that force, that resistance, that inertia in your hands. And is there any other sort of experiment that people can do at home, maybe with similar items, to still understand the process of inertia like you're talking? The easiest thing, like I said, a top. Just try a variety of different tops and time them so you can turn it into an experiment to see how long they stay up when you spin them. See if there's a difference between a very wide top or a very small top because that center point known as the, another fancy science word, axis or axis of rotation, the center of where it rotates, see if that has an effect as you do your experiments at home. Now, people at home may be looking to do something fun, maybe head out to Science Central. We're obviously distanced here. Yes, we are. A lot We're of, paying attention. A lot of Science Central is very hands-on stuff. So how are you making an atmosphere that is safe but also still interactive? Yeah, great question. So a number of things. We have one-way flow going through the building. Masks are required as you go inside. We've closed off some of the exhibits, but a majority of them are still open. We have staff that are constantly going through the building, doing cleaning, and even during the weekdays and on Saturdays, we close for one hour to do a deep, deep cleaning. All right, Martin, thanks you. Science Central is open today from noon until 5. Again, masks are required. Find more information at sciencecentral.org.